Yo, what up, YouTube? It's Damnation. And I got my Dr. Wagner mask, Mexico colors. Because before we get into what I got, um, I just want to say happy Cinco de Mayo to all my Mexican relatives. I know it's a day, a couple days late, but you know, it is what it is. And Viva la Mexico. Um, but, anyways, that's why I'm wearing my Mexican color Dr. Wagner mask. And today we got Barrel and Blade. Yes, barrel and blade, and I'm set up in a new style. Hopefully, this works better than you know sitting down on the floor and doing this stuff. So, open. And first off, we got a promo card. If you can read that, there's a code for you to get 10% off. And I hope you enjoy that one. And this is the second one. It is Operation Operation Land Nav. And then we got two level ones. <laughs> Crazy. But this is the one that we're going after right here. I can already tell. So, first up, we got a Rothko pocket map. This is the pocket map. Let's hold it. Let's get over. I can do hold up things. Uh, so it's pretty cool. It's made in Korea. That's um, it comes, it has two plastic bags. Two plastic, just standard Ziploc bags. Not much to say about that. Um, it's not waterproof. So that's probably why they gave you two, whatever, because, you know, it doesn't have a waterproof lining. It doesn't have waterproof lining inside. I can tell right, right now. So, and, I don't know if you can see that. Finger. So that's, so if this fills up with water, has somewhere to drain since the material is isn't really waterproof anyways so I mean it's it, it's useful but you know if you're looking at your map I guess that's why they gave you baggies but I mean if you're looking at your map I mean you kind of want something more a little bit more water resistant or waterproof in that matter for that matter so these this kind of doesn't make it waterproof so that kind of sucks. Uh, that, yeah. I mean, it's a cool item. Don't get me wrong. It is a way cool item. But, you know. Let's see how well it looks. Let's see. I don't have any other papers. Whatever. Um, I was going to stick a piece of paper in here and see how well it shows up on the inside of the thing. Let me just do this. This is from my... Let's see, get the check stuff out. Seal it up. So it's in the bag now. The baggy in the bag. Yeah, I guess you could still see it somewhat. Or still see it, so I mean, I guess it kind of works. But I mean, you got the glare. Like instead of like straight map, now you're looking through two plastic bags. And like if you look at this plastic bag, I mean, it's kind of kind of hazy if you can tell. See, so I mean, that's what I'm kind of seeing in here. I mean, even though it's like whatever, so, I don't know. Kind of a, I think, weird that you have to do that. 
I mean, I should have just made it waterproof to begin with instead of having that and actually put in the bags. So it's useful to a degree. See, then if you have like two of them, it makes it even, it's even worse. side. Okay, so up next, Ranger Beats. I don't know how to use these. <laughs> That's Ranger Beats. So, uh, paste counter. I don't know how, how to actually use these, so it'd probably be something to learn, but I guess it'd be like, oh, I want to get 50 miles a day walking through whatever and trying to get to whatever you can easily do that because if you know so it'd be something interesting to learn um i think it'd just be one of those things where you can probably make one of these i'm pretty sure there's tutorials all over youtube to actually make these like do-it-yourself ones i mean it's it's nine bucks so it's, that's pretty cool though you know something to learn always always good to learn knowledge is everything and uh, a compass. Okay. Well, you've seen it in the thing. Nice compass. 60 bucks. But I don't know how to use a compass. I just know how to read. So I should probably learn how to learn how to use a compass. It is a mirrored professional compass. Oh, there's all the woo deals there. Uh, it's global needle. I don't know what that means. One world compass. Stay on course anywhere on Earth with Breton's revolutionary Turk global needle, which is specifically balanced for accurate navigation wherever your adventure takes. Well, that's cool. You can use it like south of the border, north of the border north and south of or wherever that's pretty cool so we got that and we got a straw we'll save the next thing so we got a straw water straw um yeah it's just a straw that filters out gross stuff in your water self-explanatory right so, that. so we got a free item I, I think this is pretty cool. Hey, uh, survival box. This is a good free item. <laughs> this counts as a free item, not your crappy little uh, place card that ha says like survival stuff. I'm not gonna pull all that out, but that's pretty cool. I'll start. Or band aids. <laughs> this is a free item. Band-aids are you freaking get a box for like ten bucks. A full box. That's pretty cool. Up next is the CTR straight. And it good size nice. I don't know what this is for. But it has plenty of stuff for you to attach it. I don't know what this is for. I'm not a knife guy. <laughs> Tough case. Good stabby knife. So. I can't measure. There. So, I mean, if you wanted to carry it, you can. It's a knife. <laughs> I mean, it's hella sharp, plastic scales. I don't know, I like it. Um, yeah, I, I carry one from that I got in a survival box in my truck at all times. I have two, two fixed blade knives in my truck at all times. Um, just because it's best to have, I guess. But, because you never know if you ever need to like protect yourself 
I mean, I also carry a uh, uh, a knife, a uh, uh, pocket knife as well for my personal safety. But you never know if you're in your truck and you have to defend yourself in the truck and you can't get to your pocket knife because it's in the pocket. So you just reach down in, into your, you know, the, the little dividers next to your central console. You just pull it out, you know, protect yourself. Or, you know, I got another utility one where it's like a little bit bigger than that and, you know, where you cut rope or cut, you know, do certain things in your truck. But uh, this one would be more for like I defend myself. It is Japanese inspired, so yeah, kind of look. Okay, if they would have like chopped that off, made a Tata one, the more Japanese style. But yeah, I like this, and I'll probably stick this in my truck to replace my other one because this is more of like the other one doesn't really have much of a sharp or point. It's a survival box one. If you go back, I can't remember which one it was, but um, the point isn't as pronounced. So this would be more like. If they're wearing a jacket or you know if you're defending yourself from somebody who's wearing a, like clothes padded clothing you know stuff like that so i think i'm going to switch this one out with my old one and it, since it has this little thing it'd be easier to place it in my truck somewhere but yeah i think that's what i'm going to do with this one so that's it for barrel and blade a lot of cool stuff one kind of like it's not very useful i guess in the sense that it's not waterproof and you're trying to carry a map around and you don't want it to map to get wet. Um, other than that, you know, I really enjoy the box. I'm still enjoying Barrel and Blade box all the time. Um, some updates here if anybody wants to hear them. Um, my Twitch channel is coming along. I haven't got didn't, did anything with it yet uh, because of my internet is... I'm not centered, so... Scoot over. Ah, no, I'm sorry. Uh, my internet isn't fast enough to uh, stream on Twitch, which I think kind of sucks. And I'm not happy about that. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's it, as soon as I get that taken care of, um, I'll be up and running on Twitch. Uh, I'll start linking below my Twitch channel and future videos. But uh, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Viva Mexico and happy Cinco de Mayo.